I think I knew I wanted to be an artist when I was in second grade. The thing that I love more than anything or anybody else is art. I want to paint pictures that talk about um, the black woman experience and from an empowered perspective. So I definitely go to a lot of exhibits where I see the black baby mama and I see um, black trauma. Black trauma porn art is huge and I don't want to participate in that. So my favorite painting is called Hope and Grace. They both have on formal gear with Afrocentric prints to them. Um, and they both have big Afros with different uh, types of texture to their Afros. And they're both different skin tones. So we get like a collection of what is African-American sisterhood and what is African-American culture between women. I would say that it's the best painting that I've ever painted. Like everything about it just comes together beautifully. The shading, the layers, just everything is, is right. It's a very magic piece. I consider myself an anthropologist. I am really into and want to be one of those foremost authority on what it is to be black. I don't really care about like the rules of earth or whatever most people subscribe to. I'm going to do what I want to do. And this lifetime, I've decided that I want to be a painter and I want to be a famous painter and I want to be a successful painter and that is it. And I'm going to be a mom. I want to have six babies and I'm going to homeschool them and they're all just going to be amazing and surround me at all times. Like I've just, this is what I visualize and I will not step away from that. Yes, Baba. Satra, and she is my nine-year-old. She is my most loving child of all of my children. I have a two-year-old. His name is James. He is the, I want to say, fifth generation James um, on my husband's side. My most recent baby is Ziomara. She is my four-month-old. Mom life is hard <laughs> and um, it is especially hard to have two kids who are two and under and to have a child who's nine who has needs that are so vastly different from the younger two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't you know hold her? And we know that you are here, Zio yeah. Mom. Yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. This piece is about what it takes to do all the things that that I have to do for my family and for my husband but also for me because I also need to be in a consistent space of thinking about me. I don't cease to exist because I had kids and so that's what this painting is about is about being knocked out and I'm still feeding the kid. I'm still taking care of as much as I can possibly take care of, but I'm beat, and that's real. We've been married for three years. He's a quiet person, and I am not a quiet person. I'm a very a big, vibrant person. But I feel like we speak the same language when it comes to painting and when it comes to creating. The times where I'm just like, ah, it gets on my last nerve. He'll come up and he'll point something out about a painting that I didn't see. And I'm just like, oh, you're so amazing. I am right now applying and applying and applying, trying to have my first solo show and trying to get galleries to understand why it would be important to show a solo exhibition of this random black woman's viewpoints around culture and politics and the world in their gallery.